have a turn in points, apex action. <laughs> All right, pit out. Ron will be there to spit you out, so you shouldn't have any traffic coming up on you, but sometimes the timing is wrong, so just watch your mirrors as you come out. And you want to stay hard driver's left, so that if someone is coming up, you're not jumping right into their race line. So stay hard driver's left. It actually puts you right in line with where you need to be on the racetrack anyway. This is one of these late, late turn-ins. Um, really important too, smooth turn-ins. You want to be really fluid with your steering. Um, you can put your hands nine and three and never, never take them off. Um, there's no turn on this track is ever more than full walk. It doesn't okay. come close even. So plant your hands there, don't move them. This next series of turns is, is constant radius. So once you make this turn in, if you do it right, sometimes I get it right, perfect. <laughs> but you can test yourself because you make one turn in and um, one turn in into this first apex, bam, and then you should be able to not touch the wheel at all. Let's see if I get it. Oh, hmm. a little, no, oh, it's coming back. <laughs> not moving it. Yeah, not bad, not bad. But anyway, the constant radius, if you remember that, so that's, that's a good kind of a check to, to make sure. Um, Again, this is a little bit textbook or earlier turn in than the others. Um, fairly fast turn in all the way to the outside. Use up all your real estate. Smooth turn in for a late apex. This is onto a little short shoot, so make sure you get a good exit on this corner. All the way to the outside. We're coming up on a little bit of an elevation change. You can get some decent speed here. You got it uphill, it'll catch your speed a little bit, not too, too hard braking. Um, you can come up on the curbs a little bit if you're comfortable. Probably stay off them at first as you build speed. It'll, you know, you, you might naturally want to go up there. You want to be right next to this apex at the top of the turn. And then eyes way down the road. This is a very, very fast, the track opens up, very fast exit here. those cones just out so to remind you you don't need to go the right because you lose your eyesight of the track you don't need to start breaking until the the numbers you don't have to break back there at the cones um, this is our little mini 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 corkscrew late turn in here now here's where the delineator is because you lose the track you see the tip of it right there so you kind of know where to aim Cool. Yeah, yeah, it's fun. It's fun. Um, banking here to catch it. You want to stay about the middle of the road right here. Okay, and then slowly start inching down. Again, this is a fast exit too because it kind of catches you and use up all the racetrack right there. Back over quickly. Set yourself up for this left-hander. This is kind of a big arc. Double apex, not quite the constant radius that that other one was. You're gonna have to make some steering input in here. Don't need to really go all the way over there because you have to set yourself right back up for this, this right-hander. This is the final turn of the racetrack. Pretty late, start about the middle of the road, start pinching it down, pinching it down. You hit this apex and then you want to hug this really tight so that you can straight line, get back on the gas for the front straight away. This is a fairly decent, this is, I don't know which is faster because we don't use this a lot because we come in to pin in. But, oh, yeah. but the, the back straight and the front straight are uh, about, maybe about the same. Maybe this might be a tad faster. All right, just a little kink. Again, you can use some of the um, curbing if you want. Uh, always a good telltale sign is if there's a lot of black marks on the curbing, then people are using it and it's it's oh, you know, justified. Really Probably won't need it until you build up your speed a little bit. This is turn one, late apex. Use up all your racetrack right here, right back over. There's brake markers on some of the, the corners. If, if you're used to using them, that's fine. Here's your constant radius.
there, but that's okay. Um, do you guys have a lot of ra uh, racetrack experience? I mean, have you? Yeah. Okay, so I mean, you get the whole yeah. turn in, apex, exit, when to brake, all that good stuff. This is really not, again, a high, hard braking track. Um, lighter, longer is will better serve you because the, the corners are, you know, full on momentum corners. starts exactly when you enter the racetrack okay. so you can now that said people I mean everyone has to build up to speed so right. these first laps with everybody are going to be a little bit slower as everyone learns the track you do have as you saw you, you have one person that has never been on a racetrack before right, so you could have you could come up on someone that that's, go the helmet that's pretty slow gather up their helmet. Um, but as soon as you enter the racetrack you're, you're quote up to speed um, we have someone, a pit lane coordinator, he'll tell you.